Hello, Moon Kingdom of Fi here, and I'm going to do another reading. I know this is the second one today, which I'm just bored. So, and it's also like 11 o'clock, it's also like midnight, so, yeah. This is another death battle one. I'm doing both the ones I've written so far and putting them in here. I think I'm going to do a vampire one next. Um, okay. It's between Lucy from Elfin Mind versus The Wretched Egg from Dead Man Wonderland. The reason I chose these two was because, well, Lucy's got her vectors, so those count as an appendage that is not one of is not normal to other humans. Well, I guess Lucy's not a human; she's Diclonius, but um. And Shiro has the, uh, what do they call it in it? They call it a, the red crystal, I think. No, uh, worm eater, I think they call it. Oh, no, not worm eater. The red worm or something like that. But she has that within her blood. She started it, which means that. Um, which means that she has all the attributes of the dead man, but she's also the most powerful dead man. She's the first dead man. But, um, well, she has the power to control her blood, basically, to do her bidding. <sighs> well, they got, well, they got us, didn't they? Coda said. Well, at least that facility isn't chasing us anymore. He smiled at the girl sitting across from him. Well, we may be safe. Well, we may be safe for a while. The girl, who was previously looking down and fr frowning at the transport vehicle to their destination, looked up and gave a fake smile. Her horns were showing, and she was aware th of the other convicts staring at her. Yeah, sure. Oh, oh! Don't be like that. Coda frowned at her. We'll be safe. We'll be safe for the time being. So be happy while it lasts. <sighs> I guess so. She paused for a moment. She guess so. I'm. I guess so. I mean, she paused for a moment. At least that weird guy that tried to be your lawyer. What was his name? Tamaki. Who cares anyway? She put her head she put her head to his shoulder and closed her eyes. Well maybe I do, could I answer the rhetorical question. The truck stopped and the convicts were pushed out. Time to leave. They stepped out in a single file in in single file and walked into a hall. A tall voluptuous woman dressed in a military outfit greeted them. Her secretary and a prison guard accompanied her. Welcome to Dead Man's Wonderland. She walked down the hall, handing, handing out baggies to the convicts. In that bag is a guidebook with, with rules in it, accompanied by a hard candy. All the convicts, except for the girl, opened their bag to look. I'm sure that you have noticed the braces around your necks. Cons consider it a collar. Every three hours, a needle will puncture your necks and inject a neurotoxin that can only be cured by that candy. It may be, it may be bitter, but your life is worth more, I assume. She walked down and stopped at the girl, pulling out a small computer and sticking it out, sticking, sticking it to her collar. Kata. Doesn't state a surname. What is your surname, girl? I don't have one. Well, pay attention. She began to walk away. But the girl grabbed, but the girl grabbed her shoulder. 
Call me Lucy. I wanted the first injection. The woman looked at her, shrugged Lucy's hand off her shoulder. In about an hour, she continued to walk down the hall. Learn your place. You will all now be taken to your rooms. Now follow the men's and women's cell. No, follow to the men's and women's cells. Coda stopped her. She grabbed the Chinese sword from her, from her side and then sheathed it. Bringing it down with much force. But it was stopped by something invisible to the eye. And then crushed by it, too. Lucy looked at her. I think that it would be better if we stayed together for a while. The woman backed up and walked to the wall and collapsed into it. Afraid. Lucy and Coda walked outside into the courtyard. She walked into the courtyard after she scared the warden shitless. So how are we going to get these off? Coda asked. Easy. Lucy fe Coda felt a gust of air and the collar f falling off. And then saw the same happening to Lucy. <laughs> Works. <laughs> Thanks. Why do they do this? Sorry, I gotta scroll down again. Dark figure walked up behind him and put a hand on his shoulder, sho shoving him aside. I haven't seen power like that <laughs> since I took on Mockingbird. It it had a woman's it had a woman's voice, and upon closer inspection, had the body of a woman. She was wearing a white bodysuit. A helmet covered her face. It was as red as blood. What do you mean? Lucy asked. Oh, nothing much. I just wanted to feel that power for myself. She let out a small laugh. Ksk. 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 Can't do that. You're not. You're not worth it. I need to conserve my energy. The girl laughed and introduced herself. Sorry, I didn't tell you late earlier, but I am the wretched egg. She looked at Coda for a second. Hmm, <laughs> maybe this might work. She turned around and punched Coda in the face, sending him to the ground. Hmm, it's been a while since I've used my fist for fighting. God knows she has. You, you just punched him, Lucy said. Yep, Richard Egg responded. I plan to again until you give, m until you give me a taste of that power. You want me to kill you? Oh, I could take you easy. I bet. I bet you went easy on Warden Min on Warden McKenna, Warden McKenna back there, Warden Ma McKenna back there. And those collars, you, and those collars were just a chap, weren't they? Richard, I guess, smiled. No. I want to defeat you. The Richard Egg suddenly flew back, breaking through the wall behind her. This is just a bit of my power. How do you like it? Lucy yelled. Not your full potential, eh? Oh, come on! What do I have to do to get you mad enough? She looked at Koda again. Blood started to ooze from the cuts on her arms and then straightened up into a bulb. She began to hover as, as her blood lifted her off the ground and pushed herself towards the young man. Do I have to kill him? Lucy looked at her, afraid. No, don't kill him. She'll come out. The wretched egg smiled and slit Coda's throat. He was dying, but not dead. How about that? She's... How about that? She was hit back again and... Ran up to the bo and Lucy ran up to the as Lucy ran up to the body. Coda, I can heal this. It is just it is smaller than the last time. I'll set up a barrier so so she can't get past, and I'll heal you. Coda looked at her, but 
You'll die. He coughed up a bit of blood. No, I... No, I... Not this time. I didn't go... It didn't go all the way through you. I'll... I'll only lose a bit of skin. And that'll heal. That'll heal easy. And Richard Hague attacked again. But she was hit by a force, by a force field. She was then punched up and hit into a sphere of the vectors. She was beaten down as she was thrown from one side to the other of the sphere and was eventually thrown out of it. She lied on the ground. Her arm was missing and her helmet had been destroyed, revealing her head, uh, revealing he the head of a white haired and an innocent girl. A stream of blood came from her mouth. I healed you now. I'll be back in a couple minutes, okay? Lucy said. Okay, Kuda said. Kuda said. I'll stay here. Lucy walked over to the wretched egg and looked and looked down at her. Which leg first? Hmm, I think I'll go with the left. Her vectors were now visible. One went for the left leg of her foe. It was torn off. Next, the right. The right leg came, came off next. And now for your last arm. Her other arm came off. The wretched leg. The wretched egg let out a yell in pain. But Ace Man can't feel pain. Why is this happening to Ace Man? What are you going on about? But I'm Ace Man. How? Oh, shut up, you stupid fool. Lucy ready to vector. Last time I got the somebody into this position, I was punched senseless. But now there's nobody to stop me. A pipe suddenly fell on the other side of the, uh, on the other side of the room, and got and got caught on the wall halfway down. Lucy looked at it, and from under and from under her hair, a smile formed. She carried the body over to it and impaled the wretched egg on it. Looks like Ace Man lost this one. She coughed. <coughs> <coughs> so Ace Man really does die in the end, doesn't he? <coughs> she closed her eyes and was finally dead. Lucy, Lucy grabbed her head and tore it off, impaling it in front of the body. Lucy turned her back to the dead, to the woman lying. Before her. <laughs> she started to laugh hysterically. Stupid bitch! And and walked away to get Coda and leave this hellhole. So that was the ending. When I was writing it, I was surprised by the ending and how gruesome it turned out. But I guess when you take two of the most gruesome characters from pretty much anime, it ends up turning out this way. So, in case you didn't know, at the end, that was the evil part of Lucy that came out. It doesn't necessarily state itself, unlike the wretched egg, who does state itself, or herself. So I hope you enjoyed this death battle, I guess you could call it, between Lucy and the Wretched Egg. Next time, on Death Battle for the Win. Boom, chicka.